Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Komi. And yeah, so in this video, uh, I review Yerba Mate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, in this uh, review video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with uh, Yerba Mate. So uh, yeah, this is a Argentina type of drink. You know, this is, um, well, not exclusively Argentina. It's actually like in a lot of like South American places. It's uh, Uruguay, Brazilian, uh, que mas? Damn, I forgot. I, I know there was, and also Argentina. I thought there was another one. Uruguay, Paraguay también. There you go. I've got water. I forgot to put water. I already drank both of it. Let's get this slurp. Mm. Fuck, hot. <laughs> I got it. To what to uh, slurp? I usually like um I usually like the water hot, nice and hot. So yeah, this is a South American type of drink. Um I have no cultural connections <laughs> with this. Uh I am Ecuadorian, so I, I guess I'm South American too. So, you know, I'm I'm neighbors with those countries. Not really actually, kind of kind of far away, only Brazil. But uh yeah. I wanted to try this out because, well, TikTok <laughs> in its algorithm, uh, I got hit with it. I got a hit with a bunch of yerba mate type of videos. And, you know, they were talking about the health benefits. Oh, Messi drinks this too. It's like, okay, I I'll try, you know. <clears throat> I'm a fan of uh, tea overall. But, you know, I, I felt like tea, I don't know, like, it's, it it's, it's really nice to drink. But, like, you know, especially when you're working... It's not the type of tea that gives you it that gets you energized, you know. Uh, I drink a lot of green tea, you know, in the morning because you know it helps me. Uh, you know, it's the close, it's the it's the like the um, the closest I can get that f I feel kind of energized after drinking. But uh, yeah, I got introduced with this with a TikTok video, and I was like, oh wow, if it tastes like tea but it has caffeine. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink this and also a lot of uh, health benefits. Yeah, I wanted to try this out. Now, the weird thing is, I already had <laughs> a uh, mate gourd. Uh, I got a stainless steel. And that's because my dad was also uh, got hit by a bunch of like <laughs> yerba mate uh, videos on his TikTok. And he wanted to try it out too. So he, he had this way before I wanted to get into it. I think it was like I'm not sure. I think it was like um maybe six months ago. He he got into it and wanted to try it out, and he didn't like it. And that's because he got like a type of like a uh, yerba mate that was more like you know um medicine. You know, it's more like you know oh it's a it's more for you know your health benefits than it being tasty. He got like a mate that um uh, I mean a yerba. That was more for like you know yeah medicine. So it had a lot of a lot of like you know like inflammatory stuffs like cumin, ginger. Just a but it it just tastes bitter and sour. It doesn't taste you know just it doesn't really taste. It's not meant to be fun you know to to enjoy. It's meant to be like all right man I'm old my joints are fucking uh, you know destroyed. Uh you know I gotta get I gotta drink this for as a medicine not for like something to drink and enjoy. <laughs> so. He got that. He didn't like it. I didn't like it either. So you know, we we were like, all right, this is a waste of money. Goddamn. All right, we're not. We're never touching this. We're not gonna throw it in the trash. But um, yeah, we're just gonna put this in the back of our, you know, the back of the the shelves. You know, it wasn't until you know I got introduced with it. I mean, it wasn't until I watch a bunch of TikToks and I'm like, oh, you know what? I I got this. So uh, might as well try it. I tried again just in case maybe, you know, I was just being, like, dumb or I just didn't, it was just being biased for some reason. I don't know. Tried it again. Still didn't like it. Yeah, so the way people describe their yerba mate, I was like, oh, wait a minute. But this is, so this, it's not supposed to taste like this. <laughs> it's not supposed to taste bitter and disgusting. So I, so my first yerba that I bought, I was doing a lot of research, you know, so... The first yerba I got was uh, this. It was La Merced. La Merced? Yeah, I don't know how to spell. I don't know how to read in Spanish. Not really. I'm not really good at it. You know, so don't. don't. Yeah, I'm on those sabes, kid. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
This is the first one I bought. A lot of people were talking about, you know, I didn't want to get the most generic everybody gets for my first uh, try, you know. A lot of people recommend this, you know. So I didn't want my first try to be the same as everyone else's. So that's why I, I chose this. Now, I forgot what it tastes like because I was, I'm already done. Actually, no, shit, wait a minute. I still got a little bit more. Oh, shit. So, yeah, um, it's a pretty good yerba mate, but I really want a yerba mate that was in the sweeter side, you know? That's why I probably didn't even finish it because I was, like, kind of done. I was like, all right, you're good, but, you know, I wanted something sweeter. So, yeah. Also, another thing about this uh, yerba mate, it has a lot of caffeine. I'll talk about my experience with caffeine a little later, but, uh, yeah, you get this. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good beginner's. But if you're expecting it to be sweeter, sweet region, uh, don't get this. Um, if you want something slightly sweet, you get this, the Platitos. Um, I think this has a good balance with sweet and other tastes, you know, for like a mate. It's a really good beginners, you know. It's really meant to be a relaxing type of yerba mate. It doesn't have a lot of caffeine, but it still does have a lot of caffeine. I'll talk about, you know, even this with its low caffeine it's enough caffeine to make you stay up, all right? So don't uh, don't drink this, uh, at, you know, at the night. So I'll, I'll talk about that, my experience later. But uh, yeah, uh, this is meant to be a relaxing type of yerba mate. Like if you're if you have a day off and you know you're like, oh, I want to try yerba mate. Yeah, drink it. You know, like in, in either in the morning or afternoon, you know, or in the evening. This is not meant to be like a yerba mate. You know, for like the mornings. You know, for work. You know, like oh man, I gotta do either. I gotta do it all night or I gotta gotta you know stay up all night for either work or studies. Don't drink this. This is meant for being a relaxing type of yerba mate. For like oh I got a day off or oh I want to have a yerba mate, but you know I don't want to stay up all day. This is the type of yerba mate you drink. You know. So uh yeah, uh, again. It still has caffeine, so don't drink, drink, don't drink this at night, expecting to be like, oh, I want to sleep. No, all right, don't, don't do it. I'll talk about my experience later. So, uh, yeah, that was that. This is a beginner's type of yerba mate. So please, don't expect, don't, don't drink like um uh, yerba mates that are meant to be for people who have drinked yerba mates before. If you're a beginner, please start, please. Whoever recommends you a beginner type of yerba mate, drink it because you're just going to be disappointed. And for my next one is the Canaras. Uh, Serena. Serena? It's, it, you know, it's a softer type of uh, yerba mate. Um, I got this because, oh, Messi drinks this, so I'm going to drink this. No. Uh, the problem is... I didn't like it at first. You know, like, in the beginning, I was, like, very disappointed. I was like, wow, man. Uh, there's no way to return it, so I have to keep it. But the more I drank it, the more I'm starting to enjoy it. But, man, uh, if 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 you're if this is going to be your beginning, Yerba Mate, do, <laughs> do not buy this, all right? I don't maybe like this at the beginning was because probably, you know, my first Yerba Mates were Argentina type of cuts, so these two. This is a Uruguay, so this is like, there's like a, 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 a taste and texture difference, you know? It's more powdery. Um, can I show you guys this? Yeah, even even like closing it, like some sometimes the dust of the Yerba Mates go through. Like right now, look at this, look at this, man. Um, it's, it's all messy. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, in the beginning, I didn't like this, but the more I drink it, I'm starting to like it. I still don't love it. But, you know, I'm starting to like it, you know. And that's because I've been drinking a lot more these days. And, you know, that's probably why I'm starting to enjoy it. Because it's really meant for people who have had, who have um, drink yerba mates before for years, all right. So, uh, yeah, I can't really say the taste. A weird thing about the taste is, for some reason, I've tasted this before. I've had this. For some reason, I'm like, yo, why Why am I getting nostalgia? Why Why am I getting, like, hit with, like, you know, like, I had this before when I was a child. Either I had something that was close to tasting like this, or I've had a yerba mate. I just can't remember. I'm, I'm talking to people, 
you know, my childhood, like my brothers and my sisters and my cousins and my my um uh, my my mom and dad. And I'm like, yo, taste this. Why why do I why do I get like a memory? Why why am I like? It, it feels like you know, inside out. You're like, why why am I why am I reaching for memory? Because it is there something familiar about this? You know, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Don't know why I'm getting nostalgia from drinking this. That's probably one of the reasons why I'm starting to enjoy this. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where I got this, where where I'm remembering this this taste from. So yeah, I can't really describe the taste. It has a. I don't know. I can't really describe it. You know, it's it is pretty good. It has a soft texture type of taste. That's all I could describe. But uh, yeah. Does it taste like green tea? Uh, no, not really. It tastes like some other tea. I don't, I can't really describe it, guys. I'm not, like I said, I'm not an expert yet. Probably maybe like after a year. I've been drinking yerba mate for like, I think three months or four months or five months. So maybe a year I'll describe the taste and taste in it. But right now I'm just like, I don't know what to describe it. But for some reason I like it, kind of. So, yeah. Please. If if you're a beginner, please do not get this as your first yerba mate. Please just, just, just whoever recommends you for beginners, please take that. But yeah, I kind of like it for now. You know, I'll probably like it more later. But for now, it's like it's good, I guess. <laughs> Salud. Ah. <clears throat> Before I go to my next one, uh, if you leave the water too long in this, uh, it will have a bitter taste. So, <laughs> if you if you uh put some water and don't sip it in the next maybe like a minute or two or three. It becomes bitter, just to let you guys know, just to let you know. <coughs> Alright, so, next one, after Canaris, there is Kraus, I think that's what it's called, Kraus Organic. I like this, I forgot what it tastes like. Alright, so this is Future Me, uh, I can now say that I do remember what it tastes like, because I just had it. So, uh, it... Tastes like green tea, but bitter. But it only stays bitter after a few pours. After that, it actually tastes pretty sweet. I enjoy it. Especially if you put honey, which I do. Man, no, listen guys. When I say I forgot what it tastes like, because for me, for right now, they all have the same taste, kind of. Especially the, the Argentinians, you know. They all taste like green, I mean, yeah, green tea. I think, I remember, this one is the most green tea but there is a little bit of bitterness um i forgot what it tastes like i'm not sure if it's sweet or savior but i remember that this is the most green tea out of all of them this is more green tea second and then third third and then you know the canaris is fourth out of all of them this is the most green tea tasting so i guess i recommend it also it has enough caffeine to get you focus. I like drinking this, especially whenever I'm, you know, like editing. Like when when I have a day off and you know I gotta, you know, start editing in my day off, I drink this. Uh usually whenever I make videos, you know, it's always after work and I make a short and that's always at either at the e evening or at night. And I don't like drinking um, you know, yerba mates at that time, you know, because I'm trying to sleep <laughs> because the next day I got work. But usually when I got when I get a day off and I need to focus, I drink this. There was another uh, brand. There was another one of the same brand. But I think it was like a, either a gold or yellow uh, color. It wasn't available on Amazon, so I got this. You know, the same brand, and it's pretty good. Hopefully, in Amazon it goes available. It, it's a more. Hopefully, you know, someday in Amazon, the other one will be available. But so far, I can. I can't order it, so, yeah. 
That's all of the uh, yerba mates I've had and I've tried. So yeah, out of all of them, these two are my favorite right now. Uh, another thing, it is for beginners, but you know, it's a, it's a slightly you know maybe a step up. You know, maybe beginners won't like it. Maybe you do, you will. I don't know, but I'm liking these two so far. This is good, but I just don't enjoy the taste. You know, like, it's it's not for me, but I could see other people loving this. This is pretty good for beginners, too. So, yeah. This, um, I'm getting, I'm getting there. You know, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying it every time I, I get a sip of this, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> that is the Yerba Mate's I've, uh, drinking. Right now, this is, uh, the Platitos. This one's pretty good, too. I like it. All right. Let's talk about the uh, items I got. So, the accessories that I got for the mate. All right, so I got this from uh, Yerba Mate uh, Lab. You know, these are this is the this is the uh, you know content creator I've been watching, and that I you know was like, oh well, I I, I might try it. And this this is the first this is the TikToker that I've been um uh, watching. That got me into yerba mate, or you know, got me you know interested in yerba mate. So I bought it from his uh, site, and yeah, enjoyed it. I got the uh, ox. Ah, man, I got it. I'm gonna take it off, guys. I'm sorry. I, and maybe some of you guys are cringing right now, like, "Oh my god, you need to be executed." No. Nah. <laughs> so I got the. Uh, I think it's ox. You know, it's like a spoon, round type of uh, bombillo. So yeah, I I like this one. Now this one I got this from my dad got this from Amazon. This is the one he got. So yeah, you see this. There, there's, there's some um, different type of bombillos. I like these, the ones that are spoons. This I like these types and the other that one. This one, uh, depending on the yerba you get, it's not really good. Um, on the Argentina cuts, they're pretty good, but uh, on the Uruguay, the, the Canaris, I could see the dust getting through it, and <laughs> you can you could choke on the dust sometimes, you know. So yeah. Um, all right, go take this back. So yeah, I got the metal one. This is good for this is if you're a beginner, this is good. You should get this. You know, it's um uh, it's pretty good. You know, it keeps your mate warm, and also it's low maintenance. All you gotta do is just wash it, put soap. That's it. But uh, I wanted to buy a gourd one. This is actually an you know like an actual gourd. Uh, I think you could see it right here. Yeah. Let me get closer. Yeah. You can see it's it's not wood. It's gourd. Actual gourd. I bought this one. And my God, man. So much maintenance. You got to you gotta clean it. Uh, my God. You got to clean it. You got to boil it every time. And like, you got to make sure it's in a dry spot or, you know, where you can put it in the sun so, uh, you know, um, funguses don't grow. So, yeah, it's annoying. But you know, I, I guess I enjoy it. <laughs> um, if 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 something happens with if it breaks, I might get a gourd again. I don't know, but you know, I'm I'm kind of happy with just the the middle. There is like something um, special about getting a gourd. I don't know, like I might get it, but man, pff, there's so much work to 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 uh to just a gourd, you know. So yeah. Not, not really. It's like, uh, it's cool having a gourd, but like, man, it's it's so much maintenance. To you got to clean it, you got to make sure it's it's all of that. You know, it's way easier just getting a metal. But like, you know, I I just wish there was an easier way to keep to get a gourd and not have this much hassle. Now, I got a Stanley to keep my waters. So this is a Stanley. This is where I put my water in. I think uh, having these type of bottles, uh, these uh, vacuum, t vacuum, uh, what do you call it, containers, is recommended, you know. Especially also if you have a, you know, it's a pouring too. Like, uh, you know, this. It's highly recommended. There's also other attachments for especially mate users, so it's easier, easier to pour. But uh, yeah, I got the Stanley one. I got this. I got this years ago. It wasn't in the beginning. It wasn't for you know um, my mate water. 
it was for like you know just water or um coffee kind of but uh now it's become my dedicated mate uh hot water to keep it on so yeah i've enjoyed it uh the more <laughs> the more i become the more i drink mate the more i'm like uh i need i need a bigger one i need <laughs> this is a 1 liter i might have to buy either a, a liter and a half or 2 liters i don't know oh yeah also depending on the mates you know, uh, the more the flavor stays, like the more pours you need. I don't know how to explain it. Um, this one, I mean, it's it's called the duration. You know, like how long can you pour before the taste goes away? Um, this one has like maybe medium uh, duration. This one also. I think this one also. Ha these these all have medium durations of the taste. This one lasts the longest. My God, like you, you could put like I don't know, like twenty pours until the taste goes away. So it's like I'm, uh, I might need a bigger one because even when the taste goes away, I still like the taste. You know, uh, I I, I can't I, I forgot I forgot um uh, which one. Oh yeah, this one. I love like um uh, maybe not this one, but it tastes better after a few pours for me because you know in the beginning it gets it is bitter, but after that they do taste good. I like these after the you know the the first few pour, after the first few pours you know. This one um has like it tastes the same even after a few pours you know like it it, it tastes the same throughout you know the entire drinking experience so yeah. Uh, I like drinking water. I mean, <laughs> of course I like drinking water. Um, I like drinking uh, somewhere around like, um, how you say it, 90 Celsius or something, something like that. It's somewhere around that. I like, I like, the, I like um, my mate is hot. Not too hot. I, I know, I know some family members, that, you know, whenever I, I let them sip, it's like, oh, gee, God damn, I could have burned myself. I'm like, all right, my bad. All right, <laughs> I should have, I should have poured like sometimes... Whenever I know I'm sharing it with somebody, I gotta I gotta pour like you know, room temperature water. For me, I like it hot. You know, I like I don't sip it like a soda. You know, like I just sip it a little bit. You know, like I do like this. I don't know. Like I, I feel like some people they just sip it and go th straight through the to the um uh, through your throat. I just sip it. Like um, I sip it, hold it in my mouth, and then I drink it, put it through my throat. But some people, I feel like, you know, they just sip it like water, like room temperature, room temperature water. You know, it's like, what are you doing? Like, what, you, you an animal or something? <laughs> like, I don't know. Either it's too hot and I'm immune to it or, you know, people are just drinking the wrong way. You know, I don't know. Maybe I am crazy. Maybe it's me. I see. Sometimes it, it just leaks. I don't know. <laughs> With it, it's just the Stanley's just dumb. I don't know. Like sometimes it just leaks whenever I pour. I hate it. So yeah, another pour. A lot of people just you know whenever they pour they do strips. You know the the more and more it it removes. You know I don't do that. Sometimes I do. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's talk about the caffeine. So, um, in the beginning, I tried it out. I don't know. I didn't notice the caffeine in the beginning. I do notice that I've been really focused. It's it's really strange. I'm like, wow, wait a minute. I think, <laughs> um, I think I got ADHD. But uh, this, this helps a lot. It gets me focused. It gets me stop. It gets me to stop thinking about other stuffs at the same time, you know. And it really helps. I don't know. Like, <laughs> is this the cure of ADHD? I don't know. But yeah, it really gets me focused. I, I, in the first time, I think it was like in during the the either like um the morning or evening. So like you know, it, it kind of wears off. Oh yeah. No 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No 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 no. No, I forgot. It was this one. Oh yes, I did try it in the even evening. So I didn't really notice any sleeping problems. But I remember the second time, I was like, like continuously drinking, like in the morning, the evening, and then the afternoon, 
And then I, I, I realized, oh no, <laughs> I, I can't sleep. <laughs> I can't sleep. I'm like, oh fuck, I got work tomorrow. I can't sleep. It's already 2 a.m. Oh my god. I was, I was so afraid. I was like, damn man, I, I gotta sleep because I know in the morning I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate my, I'm gonna, I can't, I can't say it, but I, I, I like, I know I, I'm gonna hate myself for not sleeping. It was like 2 a.m. I'm like, fucking amen. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Why? <laughs> Why? And it's like, fuck, man, this Monte is too much. So sometimes I, I like in days I don't drink a lot of Monte because I'm so afraid of not sleeping, especially, you know, in work days, you know. So I suspiciously, I sp how do you say it? I specifically don't have this in the evening if I know, you know, the next day I don't have work, you know. But, like, man, it's so scary. Like, the feeling of the caffeine, like, in the beginning, it doesn't hit. It, 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 I guess it's like, you know, people. a lot of people like marijuana. Are like, oh, I, <laughs> like the, the, the edible memes, like, oh, this shit doesn't, doesn't hit. Two minutes later, you're already, like, in another galaxy. That's, that's what I picture what the feeling is. You know, it's like, oh, I, don't, I don't feel any of the effects. Sorry, I got to play with the light. Um, yeah, like, in the beginning, I didn't feel no effects, but, man, later, whoosh, I feel like a buzz was hitting me, like, there was just, like, full of energy, and I was just so shocked, I'm like, wow, wow, this is amazing, like, at that night, when I couldn't sleep, I'm making video ideas, this is great, this is really productive for me, but, god damn, I, I, I wish I didn't drink it so late at night, my god, man, so, yeah, uh, don't drink this at night, especially if you're a newbie, you know? Like, I thought maybe, you know, oh, it's not going to hit me that much. I mean, I've had caffeine before. I drink a lot of coffee. I drink some coffee, you know, before the night, and I could sleep. But this one was different. <laughs> it's it's about, it's different with this. Coffee, for me, it gets me, it gets me a little bit of energy throughout the day, but... I don't know. For me, at at like I'm, uh, especially at work, you know, in the morning, yeah, it, uh, you know, the coffee it hits. Yeah, I get a lot of energy, but the crash hits me like, oh my god, and like after like maybe somewhere around like uh four or something, I'm like fucking hey, amen. I am tired. I am so sleepy. I wanna I wanna sleep while I'm driving, <laughs> but this one, like it doesn't have the crash that it does for coffee, you know? This one, it's like, um, you, you slowly, you know, lose the caffeine and the buzz throughout the day, and you don't get that crash, really. I don't know, for me, personally. So, it's pretty good. But, um, so I do drink this throughout work sometimes. Um, like, I do take this at work sometimes, but it's just... You know, like, it takes, it's a lot of work to uh, assemble, to uh, craft uh, a mate, you know. You have to, you know, pour the, the, the mate, and then you got to make a hill, and then you got to pour the water, and then you wait for it to absorb. It's a lot of work to be able to drink this. But when you get to drink it, oh, man, it's really good. Like, I don't drink this every day at work. Sometimes I do. It's just, like, it, it's a lot of work to make the mate. And also, I still like coffee. So, you know, coffee is way more simpler. Like, I can make a bunch of coffee and put it in my container, and that's it. This one, you got to bring a bag. Then you got to pour it. Then you got to make the hill. All that stuff. It's too much work. Sometimes I do carry it around, you know, like, to work. And, you know, it's, it is pretty good. Really good for work. But, man, I remember um uh, a few times I'm like, wow. I No wonder the Argentinians are winning. <laughs> They're drinking this. My God, I'm like, yo, no wonder soccer players are winning. Yo, I could, I could, I could run a mountain with this. Like, I was, I'm so shocked. I'm, I, I, have, I had so much energy. No wonder, like, um, so many, like, um, uh, like either probably farmers or caballeros, you know, like Argentinian, um, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Cowboys drink this. Man, like, you could, you could run a mountain with this shit. So yeah, I like it. A lot of caffeine. You know, it's good for, like, either working out or working or even focusing or even, you know, doing, you know, all-nighters and stuff. You know, it's really good, you know. Um, and also, 
<laughs> I remember, I remember, okay, so, sorry, I touched the mic. I remember buying this and thinking, oh, you know, I, I heard this doesn't have that much caffeine, so I could drink this at night at least. No. <laughs> like, when I drink this close to the night, um, I remember I didn't have that much energy, but like, my brain refused to sleep. I'm like, all right, time to go to sleep. My eyes are still open. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, um, don't underestimate this. Even though it has less caffeine, it still has caffeine. So, yeah, uh, this one didn't have enough. This one didn't have a lot of energy as this one, but enough to get you awake, you know? So, yeah, like, even even with this one, I was still alert and still, like, at that time, I was still, like, making video ideas, like, oh, I can make this and this, like, oh, wait, no, what, what am I doing? Go to sleep! <laughs> even when I put ASMR with both of these, you know, I'm just like, fuck, I can't sleep! I hate myself, you know, so, yeah. That's why I don't drink this, even in the, in the evening, you know, just, just in case, you know. If I have a free time the next day, you know, all that, you know, if I have a day's off, yeah, yeah, maybe. But, you know, when I know I have work tomorrow, I don't drink this, like... It's kind of sad, you know. I, I do like this. So a, a lot of times I don't drink it because it's a lot of setup during work, especially, you know. I, uh, you know, I have a blue collar job, so it's like, you know, it's going to get messy or I'm messy. And I don't want my dirty ass hands touching it, you know, affecting the drink maybe. I don't know. But yeah. So far, I'm enjoying this. You know, it's really I like, man, I, like, <laughs> I haven't really used this for workout. I, oh, no, no. That was the thing. The reason why... So, I remember drinking this, using this as workout at night, thinking, well, okay, so it doesn't have that much caffeine, so it's enough, probably enough caffeine to get me through the workout. But no, it's it's too much, all right? That's, that's, why, that's why at that night, you know, I couldn't sleep because I was drinking this at night, assuming not enough, this is not enough caffeine to get you awake, but it was. I gotta, you know, make this uh, an ending. So, yeah, overall... I enjoy the tea. Yerba mate is really good. I love it. Uh, I don't drink this as much. I still love coffee. Coffee, it's still more convenient than this. But whenever I do have a day off, I, I get this. I drink this all the time. So, uh, yeah. Uh, can't drink it at night. I'm not sure if anybody could drink this at night. If they're expecting to, you know, not sleep. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm still new and I can't handle the... the um. Uh, the caffeine in this, so, yeah. Ah, so, everything's wet. Uh, every There's no more dry parts. I have been sipping on this for almost half of the day. It's, five, it's 7 o'clock right now. Oh, shit. This took me the entire day to record, you know, because it's not only... It's not only that I'm just recording, but also... Like I said, I had a lot of... Okay. So, yeah. Everything's wet. So, that means I'm... It's basically done. Ah! That's it. No more water. And it's all wet. So, it's done. So, yeah. Look at this mess. <laughs> Look at this mess. Look at this! this if you're an average uh, yerba mate um, drinker... This is gonna be. This is what it looks like at their desk. I'm not sure if I'm just being a child and I'm just making a mess out of my desk. You know, like does that, can anybody relate when they're drinking yerba mate in their desk? Like I feel like a child. Like my mom's gotta come over here and clean up for me because I'm I'm just spilling it all over. You know. So yeah. Uh, now every review I make, it's like, bro, look at this. The stains. I always. I always spill it either i put too much water and it spills over or i put water and then i just mistakenly just you know spill it so yeah you can see there's stains there's yerba, yerba mate right here it's everywhere it's disgusting my god man especially because i got i got all this on my desk right now it's it's all dirty it's all dusty oh man but yeah i gotta end this video i recommend it you know if you're a beginner please take it a few steps do not take 
you know, oh, I, oh, I'm not gonna take my first step. I'm gonna take the fifth step. You know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and drink Canera, and you know, only drink that. No, no sugar, no water. It's like, no, bro, you can't do that. You're not gonna like it unless you're a type of guy who has drink a lot of tea. I don't know, like, just don't, just, just take it easy when you try to drink this. All right, because it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty different. All right. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me TikTok and Twitter so you can keep up with everything I make. And, uh, yeah, bye.